All right, here's the next book. This one is the sequel to the one I read yesterday, which was Grandpa's Slippers, and it's called Grandpa's Cardigan. And I'm going to read something on the back. Did you know that on the back of books, you can read a little bit about the book, and then that helps you know what you're going to read about inside the book. So let's see what it says so you can know what's going to happen in this one. Grandma decides Grandpa needs a new cardigan. Grandpa agrees, so Grandma gives his old one away. Finding just the right new cardigan to replace his favorite old one proves difficult for Grandpa. But when he finds one, Grandma is in for a surprise. I wonder what the surprise is this time. Do you know what a cardigan is? It's another name for a sweater. It has buttons like that. But there's no hood on it, so it's not like a hoodie like we all like to wear. It's just a cardigan, just a sweater that Grandpa likes to wear. All right, let me turn my computer a little bit so you can see the pictures. Grandma looked at Grandpa's old gray cardigan. You need a new cardigan, she said. Why, said Grandpa, what's wrong with this one? Grandma sighed. It has holes in the pockets, she said. The seams have come apart under the arms, and three of the buttons are missing. Uh-oh, this sounds very similar to the slipper story, doesn't it? But it's so comfortable, Grandpa told her. I wear it every day. I know you do, said Grandma, frowning, and it looks like it. Grandpa looked in the mirror. He sighed. His cardigan did look very shabby. You know something? I think you're right. I do need a new cardigan. What did you say? gasped Grandma. I said you're right, said Grandpa. I'll buy a new cardigan tomorrow. Grandma was surprised, but she quickly took the old cardigan away before Grandpa changed his mind. She darned the holes in the pockets, she mended the seams under the arms, she sewed on three buttons, and she washed and pressed it. Then she put it out for a used clothing collection. There, she said, rubbing her hands together, that's the last we'll see of that old thing. The next day, Grandpa caught the bus into town. He entered a big department store and made his way to the menswear department. A young man came up to him. Hello, said Grandpa. I'm looking for a comfortable gray woolen cardigan that's not too expensive, please. Oh, dear, said the young man. We've got plenty of greens and blues and a very nice style in brown. But does it have to be gray? Yes, it does. I like gray, Grandpa replied. Well, I'm sorry, sir, said the young man. We have no gray cardigans at all. I'm afraid we can't help you. Grandpa left the department store and went over the street to the menswear store. Hello, Grandpa said to the saleswoman inside. I'm looking for a comfortable gray woolen cardigan. It's not too expensive, please. Certainly, sir, said the woman, and she hurried away to the back of the shop. She soon returned with a gray woolen cardigan over her arm. Here, try this on, sir she told Grandpa. Grandpa took off his jacket and pulled on the cardigan. This cardigan is very tight under the arms and the wool is very prickly, Grandpa complained. It's the only gray wool cardigan we have left, I'm afraid, sir, said the saleswoman. No, I'm sorry, but it won't do, said Grandpa, taking off the cardigan. I'm looking for a comfortable cardigan. Further up the road was another menswear shop. In went Grandpa. Hello, he said to the man behind the counter. I'm looking for a comfortable gray woolen cardigan. It's not too expensive, please. The man looked at him and took out a tape measure. You'll need a large, he said. Now let me see. Here's a nice one in lamb's wool. Feel how soft that is? And this one has a lovely cable up the front. Very smart. Or perhaps... Excuse me, interrupted Grandpa as he looked at the price tags, but have you anything less expensive? Not in gray, not in wool, and not in your size. I'm sorry, sir. Grandpa gulped. 
I only want a cardigan to do the gardening in. These are much too expensive, I'm afraid. The salesman smiled. I suppose they are a bit expensive for wearing in the garden, he said. Grandpa thanked him and went out. He tried a couple more shops, but nowhere could he find what he was looking for. I might as well go home, he thought tiredly. On the way to the bus stop, he walked down a side street and saw a sign that read, Opportunity Shop. I'll try this one, this one last shop, he said to himself. He pushed open the door, and a bell tinkled as he walked inside. There was a chair beside the corner, and he sat down thankfully. His feet were so tired. In New Zealand, they call them an op shop or an opportunity shop. In Canada, it's called a thrift store. So it's just the same thing, but it's a different name where they sell used clothes. After a moment, a shop assistant came out. Just resting, are you? She asked cheerfully, or can I help you find something? Grandpa shook his head. Somehow I doubt it, he said sadly. Nobody seems to sell what I want. I'm looking for a comfortable gray woolen cardigan that's not too expensive. The woman smiled. Well, now, you might just be lucky. A cardigan like that came in just this morning. I'll see if it's still here. She bustled over to the new arrivals rack and found the cardigan. Here it is. Would you like to try it on? Grandpa took off his jacket. Then he put on the cardigan. The young woman handed to him. It was a comfortable gray woolen cardigan. There were no holes in the pockets. The seams were neatly stitched and it had all six buttons. Even the price was just right. Grandpa beamed. I'll take it, he said. It's just what I've been looking for. The young woman put the cardigan in a bag. It looks as though it was made for you, she said. Grandpa chuckled as he took his parcel and hurried to the bus stop. He didn't even feel tired anymore. Well, did you buy a new cardigan, asked Grandma when he arrived home. Yes, I did, a real beauty, Grandpa replied. It's just like my old one. He proudly took the cardigan out of the bag. Grandma could hardly believe her eyes. She was looking at Grandpa's old gray cardigan. And she was so surprised that she didn't say a single word. <laughs> so she fixed it and Grandpa went and bought it again. Isn't that a funny story? So, all right, we'll talk to you later. Bye.